In this video, I will be showing you how you can easily create forms in Go High Level and then integrate it into WordPress. So why use forms in Go High Level? Why not just use it in WordPress? Apart from the form being a place where you can collect leads information, it can do a lot of different things as well. It can help you to track, manage and even follow up with leads. And using Go High Level form, you can even create automation after the leads have put in their information. So once they have submitted their information, for example, you can then blast email, send a text or even other follow-up sequence that you can try using Go High Level. Now, Go High Level is a powerful all-in-one tool and it's especially powerful for lead generation businesses and also for marketing agency. And if you have not have Go High Level yet, go to my description box below, click on the link and get started with the 14 days free trial. No risk, just test it out and see how powerful it is with your own eyes. And while you are there, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. And now without further ado, let's jump into my computer and let me show you how all this can be done. You can easily create form and then integrate it into WordPress. So let's go. All right, first of all, go to your Go High Level account. So you can click on the sub account. For example, here, you can go to agency view, but go to your account. And then next where you create the form is you go to sites. And then you can see there's, there are many, many options here. So for today, we'll be doing form. So click on the form here. And then you can see there's a few options here. I don't have any form yet, but let's create them. So you can create a folder, you can put forms into the folder, etc. But let's just add a new form. So now you're in the form creation tab. So it's very easy. Just drag your elements here from the left. So it's here, you can see add form elements. There are a few elements that you can add. You know, usually we just have full name, email. You see, it's all drag and drop. It's very easy to be done. Email and phone number. Phone number is important. So this is, for example, if you have like a GDPR issues or you want them to confirm that it's okay for them to receive the content from this company, it's good to have it here. And then you can see that there's other elements that you can put in as well, even HTML. So there's custom fields as well. So for example, if you don't have any custom fields, you can just add, for example, occupation. You can just add as a custom field. And then you can put the text input, single line, multi-line. For example, this I can just put single line and then just click next. There's others you can put as well, like values, phone, even options, drop down, multiple. You can just try, test it out. Click next. So change the field name to occupation, for example. Group, just put general info, just click save. After that, when it's done, you should be able to see the occupation here. Just drag it here and you can see that it's here. Alright, so now for example, you can see that you want to edit the field, you can see that the full name is not required and then you don't like the word full name here. All you have to do is just click on the field, just put here for example, remain the field title, the placeholder you can put as your full name here and you can put it as required. You can even put it hidden, okay. This is for example, if you're using UTM, etc. But I think for now we're not using it, just put required and then it will be a required field for people to fill up occupation as well you can put required but there's other things that you can do with the form as well you can click here the other options styles and other options you can put show label or you don't show label also can you can put in line form we'll separate the two columns i will prefer all to be in one okay and you can even put border for example if you want the border you will look like this i don't really like the border with dotted lines so no okay even with the background you can have it different colors for example you want red blue, green, or you can just have white. And then you can even put it full transparency as well. So for example, if you want to have the form to be integrated and just want it to be transparent, you can edit here as well, change accordingly. All right. And the border type, as you can see here, there's a few dot border line, but I think I'm not interested in having borders. So corner radius is how round it look like. Let me just put in the background for it. Okay, so now it's white background, right? So I just want to put a border, for example, I put it like 20. So you can see that it is rounded here. The width is depending on the size, 548, or you can put 500 or even 450, depending on it. So I think 458 is good enough. Okay, but you want to make it smaller to make it, it looks even better in mobile, you can just put it as 450. So padding is uh, how much padding you want to put in between these lines. For example, top right, you just put 30 padding, you can see that it's F a padding here so i just keep it as it is even left and right for example you don't have higher padding just put 30 here you can see example it's been pushed back so just test out all the designs here as well you can even have shadow which is quite cool all right then you can just test accordingly all the shadows for now i don't need shadow i want it to integrate seamlessly with the existing website so even the fill size the padding again i mean the fill style the padding again the shadow the labels 
all everything here you can change accordingly the background image header image etc so for example if you want to put your logo at the top you can just put it in the header okay you can even have agency branding if you have but for now i don't have any agency branding for this account yet if you have it put it down there and then you have an agency branding here and when you go to options you can even put in the name change the name for example contact form so i'm going to put it in this website later okay and on submit you can have uh, send a message or you can redirect to another url so you can put the URL here. You can even have Facebook Pixel ID. So once you put a Facebook Pixel ID, then when, for example, they view, it'll be page view. When they submit, it'll be submit application, it'll be counted as lead. These are all important for you when you're running, uh, for example, lead generation ads. Or this is important when you're running a conversion ad, <laughs> which have a lead as the event. So this is how you can do it. All right, you can change the event here accordingly. And then you can preview. And this is how the form will look like. You can even delete this if you want to, but I think it's good to have it so that when they register, they know that it's not spam and they have a confirmation that they give here. All right. Now add a button. I think I missed this just now. So the button, you can change the style accordingly. For example, sign up now. And then uh, the button styles, you can change the background, the border, etc. Same thing as well as just now the whole form design, which is quite cool. And with that, easily you can have the form ready. Uh, now let's integrate it into WordPress. So when I click integrate, you can see there's a few layout type. There's sticky bar, there's sticky sidebar, polite side in, pop-up and inline. I would prefer to use inline because it's seamless inside WordPress account instead of having all this like appear left and right. But if you're having, for example, like a block, people are reading a block, you want the form to appear, for example, at left or right, then it's good to use this. So there are a lot of different trigger style here as well. You can show on scrolling, for example, when they reach 25% of the scroll, that means they're looking at 25% of your page. You can just have the form pop up or you can even have this show after how many seconds. For example, after 10 seconds, it'll pop up. Uh, but I would prefer it to be always show uh, so that it is triggered. For example, like when you see on the website, it is there already or when you click on it, it'll pop up. Um, so you can activate here. Just keep it always activated. So this is for example, if you visit once, no, visit second time, uh, that means they're interested. You want them to see the form, but I think just keep it always activated. Uh, even the activation option is there as well. Um, but for now, we just copy the embedded code and then we can just copy the code and put it into WordPress. And let me go to WordPress and let me show you how it will look like. Let's go. So now I'm in my WordPress website. So I want to change the contact form here. So it depending where you want to do it, whether you want to do it in the landing page, etc. But I just want to change the form here. Okay. So first of all, you log in to your WordPress dashboard, go to pages, and then you find the page that you want to edit. For example, I want to edit the contact X page. Just click on edit. Now for this website, I'm using DV Builder. I know there's a lot of people that's using, for example, like Elementor or maybe using the own WordPress Gutenberg itself, but it's actually quite simple and quite easy to be done. I'll just show it to you. First of all, for me, I like to use like a visual builder instead of using it here. But if you want, you can just add, for example, here you can see contact form, right? Just click a plus sign here, search for code and add a code here. And then you can get the code from here, copy embedded code. Then you just put the code here. They will have an iframe here. Just click tick and then you just click update. So for Elementor, any other builder that you use, same thing as well. All you have to do is just add a code at the place where you want the form to be. So let me refresh this. You can see there'll be two forms after this, one here and one at the bottom. Let's just refresh and see how it will look like. And then you can see the form here. It appear here. So there'll be two different forms. All right. Now, if you don't like the form, you can just delete this form and then just use this form. All right. And when I look into it, I think this form looks pretty good, pretty standard with this as well. I just need to change the button color, etc. And all the changes you make, for example, at this form place, for example, I still don't want the occupation, right? What's the point for me knowing, right? I just click save. And then when you refresh here, you can see that it's gone. So the form can be changed in go high level. You don't have to make any changes here. You automatically reflect here. Yeah, as I mentioned, you can use any other form builders. It's the same thing. You just have to find the code and you just embed it there. So for, for this as well, for the Go High Level form as well, when you click integrate, you can even just get the form link. For example, you just open the form link. You can just directly send this form, this link, over to anyone. If you don't want to have any landing page, etc., you want them just fill up. Just sending the form to them, you can just get the link and send it over. It's as simple as that. Okay, done. And click back. And the forms are here. Okay, contact form here. 
Okay, I did duplicate, share, move the folder or delete. So it's all here. When you click share, there's an option. You can share to another sub account, etc. So yeah, so that's how you create the form and then integrate it into WordPress. But let's test the form up and see what happens when you fill out the form. Okay, so for example, I just put my name here. Okay, okay, I just put a confirmation here. Sign up now. As I did not have any, I did not set up where it goes to, so it comes to here. Okay, but uh, actually I should set it to go somewhere, which you could set it here. Go to styles and options, click on options, open URL. For now I leave it empty. I should have clip stay and message, but yeah, it's okay. Now let's see what happened uh, after I fill up. So everything filled up already. Let's see where it goes to now. Context. You can see it appear here. So name, phone, email, etc. You can even click on it. You can go to this place where you can have the conversation as well. So this is quite cool. All the conversation will be here, whether by SMS or email, you need to set up separately. So you can even create automation out of this. You can start from scratch, for example. That new trigger, form, form submitted. You can even add filters. Form is... For example, contact form from here, you save the trigger. So when people submit the form, you can even add action, uh, send email, for example. You can send one email to yourself. So when people opt in, you get to receive an email or you can send an email towards the lead itself to tell them that congratulations, you have signed this up. Uh, this this is etc. etc. You can put in a long information inside there as well. So using Go High Level as a form option it's much better than just using normal form in WordPress, right? Because you can manage the leads here, you can chat with them, you can even send email follow-up, etc. That is why this is so powerful compared to just using a plain form in WordPress, all right? And this will be one good place for you to manage all your leads and converting them into sales. So yeah, that's it. That's how you can easily create a Go High Level form, integrate it into your WordPress website, and then you can even search it in your contacts and then you have an automation flow for Go High Level as well. If you have not tried Go High Level yet, go to the description box, click on the link and try it out now. You can get 14 days free trial. Just test it out and see how powerful it can be. All the best in collecting leads and then converting them to sales using Go High Level. Thank you. Remember to subscribe to my channel and I see you next time. Goodbye.